An incredible breakthrough happened today in artificial intelligence. Google's DeepMind, which is the same company that created AlphaGo, the algorithm that beat one of the world masters in the game of Go, which was thought to be impossible for computers to master in 2017, was it? Has announced that they've cracked the problem of protein folding. It's hard to overstate how big of a breakthrough this is, more so in biology and health than in AI. But the problem of protein folding is something that scientists have been trying to crack for the past 50 years. In order to appreciate what that means, let's take a step back. So proteins are the building blocks of cells and cells are the building blocks of life. So every function your body performs from blood flow, you recognizing objects, breathing air, essentially is being carried out by proteins. Now proteins, consist of this same 20 amino acids strung together in a different sequence. Now, when combined, these amino acids fold into incredibly complex three-dimensional shapes. And that's what the name is really referring to. The shape itself actually determines the function of what a protein does and how it does it. So in 1972, in the Nobel Peace Prize in Chemistry, the winner in his acceptance speech, Christian Anthensen, postulated that just by having the sequence of amino acids you could theoretically predict what the final shape would be. So for the next 50 years, scientists have been trying to figure out the problem of predicting these final three-dimensional shapes through various means. I even had a video a while back talking about Folding at Home, which is a program by Stanford University that lets you download a piece of software onto your computer and using the GPU in its spare time to form this crowdsourced supercomputer around the world and dedicate that computing power into solving protein folding. So in order to advance the solution to this problem, in 1994, CASP was formed. And CASP is the Critical Assessment of Protein Structure Prediction, which is a competition that's been called the Olympics of Protein Folding. In this competition, the judges have the final 3D structure. They also have the amino acids. And what they do is they actually give the amino acid sequence to competitors and let them predict what the final structure should look like. And at the end, they actually compare it to the structure they have and see who comes the closest. So in CASP 2018, AlphaFold made its debut where it used artificial intelligence to predict the actual structure of these proteins with an accuracy rate of over 70%. Now, even though it got really close to the final actual shape of the protein, it still didn't really have the individual atom positioning correct. So fast forward to CASP 2020 and AlphaFold 2 reached a 92.4% accuracy across all prediction targets. Uh, just for reference, anything over 90% is considered essentially solved. Like I said, I think it's hard to overstate how big of an important benchmark this is in the history of artificial intelligence, for one, but biology and medicine. This isn't something that happens every other year or every five years. This might be one of those once every 20, 25 year breakthroughs that we see. Hopefully with the advent of more AI, those breakthroughs are going to start speeding up and become more frequent. But just for reference, AlphaFold 2 has already been used to predict a protein in the COVID-19 virus. And a professor in the Max Planck Institute has said that he's used the algorithm to crack a problem that he's been stuck on for the past decade. Now, what makes this more exciting is that in nature, I think we've observed something like 200 million proteins, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's all the possible protein combinations. This is an illustration that shows you all the possible proteins that could theoretically exist, but don't. So now with this breakthrough, we're getting closer and closer to developing new and novel proteins that haven't been observed in nature to solve things like creating new materials, new cancer treatments, new vaccines, a universal flu shot that you get once in your lifetime and it protects you against every flu forever. Um, maybe this leads to new materials in batteries, uh, energy storage, even pulling carbon out of the air. The possibilities are really endless. But what impresses me most about DeepMind is that they've consistently beaten expectations. In the book Super Intelligence, Nick Bostrom stated that the predicted time frame of a computer beating Go was something like 2025 or so. It happened almost a decade earlier in 2017. Likewise, the protein solving problem wasn't predicted to happen for decades. So the fact that these breakthroughs keep happening sooner and sooner than expected is uh, incredibly optimistic. I mean, this is probably the most optimism I've had in 2020 with everything going on. So uh, salutes everybody on DeepMind, OpenAI, and everybody else working in these fields, progressing humanity forward.
definitely excited to see what uh, AlphaFold 3 does and what GPT-4 and these other algorithms are doing because it seems like we're really in the golden age of artificial intelligence.